Hello and welcome to another episode of The Outlook, the one and only podcast dedicated to sharing updates from rural Armenia. In the past episodes, you've heard us talk about infrastructure improvements and population trends in Debet. But with the start of a new academic year, we'd like to direct our attention to COAF's educational programs offered at the Smart Center in Debet, Lodi. Here to help shed more light on the less tangible side of COAF's work is our managing director, Gorin Khachadurian. Gorin, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Rebecca. It's always a pleasure. So, Gorin, I'd like to begin by highlighting that COAF's educational programs operate on two dimensions. Could you explain to our audience what that's all about? Absolutely. So, um, have you heard about the opportunity gap? It refers to the fact that the circumstances in which children are born, such as their geography and socioeconomic status, determine their opportunities in life rather than all people having the chance to achieve to the best of their potential. These factors contribute to or perpetuate lower educational achievement and attainment for many rural youth in Armenia. Co-op's education programs help to close that opportunity gap by providing early learning experiences for children and their families. So on one hand, we have the SMART programs, uh, which are held in Debet, Lori. Debet is home to Co-op's flagship SMART Center, a state-of-the-art education hub devoted to providing rural youth with world-class non-formal education. This helps us centralize our efforts and increase our impact. On the other hand, we have what we call the village programs. And we've been implementing these programs since 2004 um, in many regions uh, of Armenia. We work as an organization closely with village schools to create an environment where students have opportunities to utilize their creativeness, critical thinking, talents, and potential during and after studying at school. Co-op schools aim to have high-quality management and teachers, self-reliant student councils, as well as progressive and innovative physical environment. And we strive to achieve these goals through a wide variety of programs, English language programs called uh, ACCESS, in partnership with the U.S. Embassy, civic education programs and after-school programs. And were you able to achieve these goals? How many students would you say have you been able to reach so far? Since the launch of the Co-op Smart Center in 2018, three years ago, over 3,500 youth and 500 adults have benefited from the interactive, multidisciplinary learning to improve their economic productivity and civic social activity, and thus fulfill their potential and participate in strong and inclusive communities. They come from 27 villages and towns of the Lori region. Let me share with you some key findings from an initial assessment of the Co-op Smart Center. Here at the Co-op Smart Center, learning is personalized to individual needs. Many learners have low digital skills and confidence, making high instructor to learner ratios essential. The Co-op Smart Center provides one-to-one support. Instructors are on hand to ensure every learner is making meaningful progress. On the other hand, we have regular positive feedback. For new learners, ensure of their ability to succeed even small setbacks can result in disengagement. The Cost Smart Center instructors emphasize every success and assist learners to get over their mistakes, helping to mitigate their this risk. Um, there's also no time limit for learning at the Cost Smart Center. Learners with no digital skills and low confidence uh, at point of engagement are unlikely to achieve their goals very quickly. They want and need open-ended support which they can access as long as required. The Qual Smart Center learners can continue learning for as long as they need in order to build their skills, confidence and motivation. The learning environment, as you know, is critical um, and the Qual Smart Center offers uh, uh, an amazing environment for um, preschools to adults. 100% of learners report that the center looks and feels relaxed, informal, and the sense of community encourages retention and achievement. We truly have very um, impressive retention rates at the Co-op Smart Center. It's above 80%. And accessibility is also important. The Co-op Smart Center programs are free of charge for everybody, accessible and inclusive to the communities that need it. On the other hand, we have the village programs, where in terms of numbers, we have 
over 1,100 students enrolled in our different programs in 24, uh, 25 villages of Armavir, Aragatsotan, Shirak, Lori, and Tabush. Mm -hmm. And what about the choice of subjects? What's the background for designing the curriculum? The Co-op Smart Center curriculum is a two to three year long quest for smart citizenship. This is what we call the smart citizenship. There are three dimensions on the quest. Those three dimensions are meant to educate the human as a whole, equally focusing on the cognitive, affective and physical development of a human being. Let me give you a few examples of uh, what type of programs we have at the Smart Center. We go from languages, Mandarin, English, Russian, to entrepreneurship courses, finance, management and uh, marketing. We also offer to um, uh, adults and kids alike uh, programs, very tailored programs such as VR fitness, dance and yoga. Uh, obviously, we also focus on the arts. So we have sound design, musical instruments, performing arts. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a big um, undertaking. Um, we truly want to be as diverse as possible so that we truly educate the human as a whole. As in any other aspect of our work, at Cloud Smart Center as well, we go the extra mile. Well, this means that individual work with every participant is a priority on our agenda throughout the course of two years. Um, the following specialists not only follow up on the progress of the participant, but also provide professional orientation guidance, visit their school and communities when necessary, and work hand in hand to cover to uncover the inner genius of every prospective smart citizen. So the following specialists are center psychologist, social worker, and education counselor. And I'm very proud that we have this at the center. I think we're quite unique in that sense in Armenia. I've never heard of a center, a center of this size have having a social worker, a counselor, and a psychologist at the same time. And then there are master classes, right? You've already mentioned them, the so-called Smart Connects. What can you tell us about those? It's not really the Smart Connects, it's more the Smart Workshops, although Smart Connects are also sometimes turned into master classes. So yes, uh, Rebecca, in addition to essential or main courses, the Smart Essentials we call, smart citizens get to think outside of the box by taking part in one workshop every year. Sometimes if they're craving for two, we just offer two. A workshop is conducted by invited international and or local professionals, preferably affiliated to the field of smart essential programs. Uh, we've had uh, many guests and uh, prominent guests from Yerevan or even abroad who truly make a big difference um, uh, for the students. Uh, this year, uh, when I say this year, it's last academic year. Let's, let's put it that way. We held 29 classes with artists, engineers, architects, etc. etc. And then you mentioned the Smart Connects. Smart Connects events happening happen um, uh, every every two weeks to three weeks. They put the spotlight on successful individuals who have paid their path as professionals in different fields to share their success stories, lessons learned, and deliver motivational talks. Um, the audience we do not limit to the smart citizen, but it's open to the entire region. That's also the beauty of uh, of the Co-op Smart Center. Uh, a lot of things are reserved um, for uh, for the participants, but it's also very open to um, to the community members. So obviously, Coaf puts a lot of emphasis on practicability. Students are encouraged to implement what they've learned uh, during the programs in real life. This year's summer programs were all about that. How did that turn out? So um, before the summer programs, let me tell you a little bit about this practicability or uh, the fact that we really go and try to um, be hands-on. Um, SMART is transitioning from an individualistic to a collaborative learning uh, format and from passive learning to learning by doing methods. Project-based learning is essential and central in applying knowledge. Students determine their projects together with their uh, project-based learning coordinator and their instructors, sets midterm and cycle goals. By the end of uh, each circuit or cycle uh, there is a smart project coming into life which is um, uh, always always trying to fill a gap or to uh, find a solution to a very local problem in their communities 
We also have um, the Smart Expo, which uh, we where we invite uh, universities and higher educational institutions to come and present what they can do after they graduate from the Craft Smart Center uh, citizenship curriculum. We also have some uh, what we call the Smart Trips. Uh, so we have trips that are organized during the third level of each program. The idea behind is to introduce participants to exemplary uh, institutions uh, or businesses uh, in each field where theoretical knowledge is being applied to practice and that could potentially inspire them. Uh, smart tips are carried out both in the regions and beyond. And before we end this episode, I must ask you, what about the little ones who don't go to school yet? The little ones, absolutely, Rebecca. So the Co-op Smart Child Development Quarter that we opened in 2018 focuses on children ages three to six years old, which is an important window of opportunity in a child's development. So what's the impact? Let's have a look at the Debet community, for instance. Over 70% of the population in Debet uh, uh, is socially vulnerable, with high employment rates among the adult population and lack of early childhood learning opportunities. Indeed, even uh, families cite the absence of a preschool among the top reasons for leaving the village. Our goal is to set young children on a path to thrive in school and life. In, um, in our Co-op Smart Child Development Corner, we have many Debet Cs, many uh, preschool um, students uh, from the Debet uh, community, and um, it's been very successful in, in that sense. On top of uh, this um, uh, Child Development Corner, we also offered last summer uh, a, a very specifically designed summer camp for preschool uh, students. And we, we held a five-day summer camp for our CDC kids. We focused on, um, uh, on the six-year-old. Why? Because we wanted to prepare them uh, to start school in September and provide them with physical and emotional safety classes um, to help deal with difficult circumstances such as the COVID-19 pandemic and the recent war. It's important for us to not only work um, um, with the students on, an, on a daily basis, but also we plan ahead and prepare them for what's next. So preschool students, what's next is the school. School students, what's next is the university. I'm sure we'll have um, uh, many occasions to also uh, talk about the, the alumni network that we have uh, created um, in the past years. I hope we'll get um, the time also to talk about this uh, another time. Of course. And on this note, I'd like to end this episode wishing our students an exciting and informative academic year. Thanks, Gorun. It was a pleasure as usual. And thanks, our dear listeners, for staying curious. Don't forget to subscribe to our channels on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Deezer. Talk soon.